We're Chris and Sarah, a husband and wife traveling creative duo on a mission to experience as much in life as possible. Oh, no. This channel is dedicated to documenting our adventures that will turn into memories that will last a lifetime. We're inviting you to join us as we try new things, meet new friends, and see the world from a new point of view, one adventure at a time. Let's go. Glacier National Park. It's a place that should be experienced firsthand, but if traveling here isn't really an option for you, this is our best shot at capturing and sharing with you the beauty, magnitude, and mystery that this amazing national park has to offer. Let's go. Our first day in Glacier started pretty early, 4 a.m. to be exact. In order to make it from our campsite outside of the park and up the western side of the Going to the Sun Road to Logan Pass by sunrise, we needed to get an early start. Arriving at the park in the dark has a very different feel almost mysterious. You can tell there's something just beyond the road as the tree silhouettes disappear and give way to a vast darkness. If it were daylight right now, you'd be able to see a lake full of colorful rocks surrounded by giant evergreen trees and mountains on every side. The roads are dark and empty, and the opportunity to see wildlife in your headlights is exhilarating. By the time we reached the ascending portion of the road, dawn was closer and the sky was beginning to change to deep shades of blue and purple as the sun was nearing the horizon. We finally made it to the top of Logan Pass in time to catch the sunrise that was coming up over the mountains and filling the sky with the most beautiful orange, pink, and blue hues. good though. It's been five years since we've gotten to come to the top to Logan's Pass. Actually, I take that back. We've never gotten to park in this parking lot because last time we came here five years ago, our first trip to Glacier, it was completely packed, like completely packed. And we tried and tried and we never got a spot, but we did witness an elderly man and a dad with kids in tow, like intentionally hit each other's car because they were fighting for a spot. So that was sort of our cue to go. We didn't try anymore after that round. <laughs> While Glacier National Park is so big, you could fill a lifetime exploring all its numerous trails, valleys, and peaks. We only have about a week here. We tried to cover as many things as possible. First up, a quick little hike to start the morning. I'm ready for Christmas now. <laughs> it smells so good, you smell it? I can it smell smells them. like a Christmas. I wish I could put the smell in YouTube videos. <laughs> smells so good. Smell o vision. <laughs> smell o vision. About my hair look on a scale of one to ten. <laughs> Just a little wind blown. Yeah, a little fair faucet. Yeah. <laughs> After a short walk down a boardwalk and dirt trail, we made it to the overlook and saw the most beautiful lake hidden just behind the mountain. The sun's gonna be in our eyes on the way back. It feels good. I have a habit of closing my eyes when the sun's in my eyes out. Be careful. <laughs>
glad we got here when we did. Oh, we still have uh, flying needles. <laughs> yeah. Did I do that or did you do that? One of us hit a pine tree. Oops. And it, part of it, we opened the door with that there. It's a part of them are on the inside now, but now it's a little air freshener. Oh well. Grandma. Well, hey little bear, what's up? What's up little creamer? What are you doing, man? So we just got back. You saw the craziness of this parking lot. People are circling and circling. So we have two options. We could either leave and have a space available for somebody, or we could make breakfast here and take up a little more time. Our, my plan was not to make breakfast here because I don't want to hog a space, but I'm not sure we're going to get one at the bottom of the mountain either. All the, all the parking lots have been jam-packed. So I think we're going to do breakfast inside the van. Is it bad? Mm -hmm. The guy behind us is sleeping in his front seat right now, so <laughs> we'll be quick. Oatmeal? Yeah, let's do it. If you're not familiar with Glacier, there's only one road that runs west to east inside the park, the Going to the Sun Road. It begins near Lake McDonald before winding its way up the western side of the mountains and peaks at Logan's Pass, which is also the Continental Divide. The road's windy and narrow with large drop-offs, but the views from this semi-dangerous road are unparalleled. The Going to the Sun Road has been recognized as an engineering feat for its impressive design since its completion in 1933. It took two decades to design and construct this incredible road through one of North America's most beautiful places. You shed a light that guides me home to my face. Due to its increasing popularity, especially since 2020, the demand for campsites is super high, but we were lucky enough to snag one at Ag Park Campground next to Lake McDonald. Which allowed for a few days of slower paced time in the park, reading, walking along the lake, visiting friends, and getting huckleberry ice cream. So the entire time we've been here at Glacier, we've been waking up pretty early in the morning to get into the park. Around 4 a.m. Around 4 a.m. And it's been catching up with us. So we just finished uh, a nap. <laughs> just an hour nap, but I feel like I just slept 10 hours. Oh man, I feel good. The morning light is so good and you beat the crowds in the park. Today was the first day we were able to snack a spot inside the National Park though. So we don't have to leave tonight and wake up as early tomorrow unless we want to. We're having a hard time waking up and naturally our first response was, well, we probably need some sugars. So we're gonna go get some ice cream. <laughs> 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 so we're not big on tourist traps, but anytime somebody's selling anything huckleberry, <laughs> it gets us to stop. We're suckers for the huckleberry stuff. <laughs> Some of it's really good. Some of it's really bad. And also we've never stayed in a national park campground so close to like a village kind of thing or a visitor center. I was worried this one was going to be very loud. Besides that car, it's really not. It's actually been really quiet. Yeah. This is nice to be able to do walk to get ice cream. So you feel secluded and then you can walk and get some ice cream and walk back. Now we're right by the lake. Nature. We have friends coming so we got pizza. You excited about pizza? <laughs> of course it's fun. So we're in Glacier and our friends Ashley and Dan have been working on East Glacier and they drove all the way across the pass to have pizza with us tonight, which I feel so bad you guys drove the whole way. But anyway, Ashley, Dan, fellow hey. van lifers, <laughs> they're way cooler than us. They've been working here all summer. But can I see your van? <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, it's not like clean. <laughs> oh, is any van I mean, ever actually clean past the van tour? It's not like, I love it. 
After dinner, we swapped more van life stories, learned about their time working in multiple national parks, and toured each other's van builds. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was so much fun. That was good. People, I miss people. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've had this social interaction. <laughs> Seeing people on the road, like, I make it sound like we never see friends. I don't think we usually go, this is the longest we've ever gone without seeing friends. We used to see friends at least once a week around the road because we have friends all over the country, like that. Makes it fun. So that was good. It was good to see Ashley and Dan. They've been like long time online friends from Van Life World that have turned into real friends in person now. So it's good. And I think our paths are gonna cross again in November, which is fun. Kramer had fun, he liked them. Kramer hates the dark. You just took me out of my little trance there. <laughs> no, I can't shut it off. <laughs> no, it's just good to relax. It feels really good. I think today is the first or second second day, I guess. Second day that we haven't driven the van since we've been on the road. Second day where we just sat still. So I think the first one you were working the whole day, weren't you? working on a video or something. Worked a few minutes today, but for the most part we've just been reading and hanging out and going for walks and it's been nice. You want to tell them good night? from the Glacier National Park. See you guys. After a week of exploring Glacier National Park, it's time to move on to the next place. This park remains one of our favorite places in the country. If you're not able to travel here, we hope our time showed just a small glimpse of the beauty and adventure this park offers. If you are able to visit here one day, we encourage you to travel slow and take your time to experience as much of this park as possible because, like most places, Glacier is best enjoyed when you slow down and don't rush the experience. That passes over The ticking of what can't be stolen The getting lost inside of me Be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.